Yep. Let me ask you a big question in the small amount of time <clears throat> we have left. Uh, and, and that is, as you know, back in the 90s, uh, there was an expectation that by bringing China into the, uh, integrating it into the global economic system led by the U.S., that would encourage eventually political liberalization uh, in China. I think we had similar hopes and ambitions for the Russians as well. It hasn't worked out that way. And in fact, things have gone from bad to worse in recent years. Stepping back and looking at it, again, with the benefit of hindsight, where did things go wrong? Where was the mistake? Should we have course corrected earlier uh, than we have? How do you assess it? Yeah, there's a tendency to forget a lot of the things that we actually got from China, not only sort of economically, but cooperation on proliferation and some of the other sort of conflicts, UN resolutions, so on and so forth. So this notion that engagement with China failed, I just think does, isn't borne out by the history. Uh, as you said, and as I said, Xi clearly changed the system and there clearly are downside to this. But this presents the challenge for today. You're not gonna be able to contain China. This isn't the Cold War. The Cold War is a sloppy analogy because it was a separate economic system. Your closest allies, Japan, Korea, Australia, the countries you want on your side in Southeast Asia, they're gonna to wanna to do economic business with China. So I think this will now be a more complex challenge. You clearly wanna limit some of the high-tech materials, and, and the question is, how far does that go? What does it mean you don't sell any semiconductors, in which case you hurt the semiconductor firm? Does it mean you don't take the, their uh, solar panels, in which case you're going to have more expensive uh, effort to move to solar? Those are the sort of questions you're going to have to thread your way through. And I think the, where the administration has been correct is, is strengthening the deterrence with our allies, which Trump undermined. Frankly, I would do more on the military and defense side, but from a position of strength, I don't think you can cut off China. So this notion that the United States kind of enabled China to rise, it <laughs> ignores history. China was gonna rise one way or the other. And the question is, do you wanna try to make it cooperative on some issues, whether it's climate, whether it's fentanyl, whether it's dealing with Russia, or do you want to make it into an enemy, in which case, frankly, we're not going to be able to do this by ourselves. 